talk to you about degree and what's going on there, okay, before we fill in this page 9, which is what we're about to be on is page 9, okay? The idea behind a polynomial is this. If you have a first degree, it looks like a line, okay? Mm -hmm. This is your x-axis, this is your y-axis. It's like a y equals mx plus b, all right? Mm -hmm. The most times this baby can cross the x-axis is 1 because it is a first-degree equation, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all the roots it can have. It can have one root, Okay. all right? It doesn't actually have to cross the x-axis ever because it could be y equals 5, and that would be like a horizontal line up here that never does it, right? Mm -hmm. That would be like a zero degree. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's look at something else. Let's look at a, let's look at your y equals x squared minus 2, something like that. So it's going to look about like this, this being your x and your y. Okay, it can cross the x-axis up to two times, all right? It could cross it if it's just the y equal x squared one. It could cross it only once, mm -hmm. okay? And it could, if it was y equals x squared plus 2, um, never cross it. Now let's talk about roots. There have to be two roots. There have to be two roots to this. There have to be two solutions. Now they don't have to be real solutions. Mm -hmm. They're real solutions if they actually cross the x-axis. So this one has two real solutions. This one looks like it has one, but it really has two. It's repeated. So they would consider it, your solution would be zero and Zero. Because it goes through both axes, axes, right? Well, just because it hits it in exactly one point. And if you have two, if you have a second degree equation, the, 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 if you have a second degree equation, you're going to have a total of two roots. Imaginary roots come in pairs. So if I've got one real root, I must have another real root because I can't have imaginary roots. Okay? okay? If it's tangent to this x-axis, which means if it hits it in exactly one point, it's repeated. Okay? Okay. Now, this one right here, does this hit it anywhere on the x-axis? No. no. But all that means is there aren't any real roots because it doesn't cross the x-axis. There are still two roots, but what kind of roots are they? Imaginary. Imaginary. That's where the imaginary comes in. Okay? Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and pause that for a second.